Nifty Film Education Series. Hey guys, how you doing? Today we're going to show you how to make an ERC721 smart contract. Actually, it works for both ERC721 and 1155 with studio.manifold.xyz, Manifold Studio. Wonderful way to make a smart contract for free plus the cost of gas. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to log into Manifold Studio. We're going to connect our MetaMask wallet right there. Click on that. You'll see we're on the Rinkaby test network first because we're going to make it and then we're going to mint it to the test net first. And so what we'll do is we'll click right there and create a new smart contract. This one's going to be an ERC721. Very easy. You just got to pick a contract name. This one I'm making for my film pro uh, project. The absence is always present. Nifty Film presents it. So we'll name it that. You get to name uh, your own token symbol, your own ticker symbol, which is cool. We'll call this one N Film. And then some ASCII art. They love Studio Manifold. Manifold Studio loves their ASCII art. So I made some ASCII art here out of our Nifty Film uh, logo. And if I paste it in right here, it looks a little silly, but if you preview it, that's how it's going to look in the smart contract itself. That looks pretty good. Uh, close enough. What are you going to do? Um, you know, this is what it's going to look like in the smart contract. That's how it's going to be displayed if anyone goes and looks it up. So you want your art to look, your ASCII art to look uh, as good and as, uh, uh, you know, accurate as, as it can be. So it's really just these three things right here, and that's it. But, like I said, we're on the Rinkeby test network. So we need to pick, we need to get some fake ETH so we can pay these fake gas fees. And I'm going to do it through Paradigm Multifaucet right here. And they want you to connect your Twitter. It's a little annoying. They want you to connect your Twitter. But we'll do it anyway because uh, who, who doesn't want free fake money? And as you can see, the gas fees on the test network are really, 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 really low. So we only need like 0.1 fake ETH to, to really get cooking here. So we'll put in our uh, Twitter credentials right there, log in with our Twitter. And then once that's linked up, we can put in our uh, Ethereum wallet address. I'm going to use my ENS name, niftyfilm.eth. And I am going to claim some free fake money. All right. Tokens have been dispersed. Check your balances shortly. So we'll let that go through. It'll take a little bit of time. We'll check our MetaMask. Still nothing yet. No activity, nothing happening. Let's wait a second. We'll, uh, we already put in this information there. Like I said, you just put in your wallet address. Here are all sorts of other different uh, faucets you can use if you need other test uh, tokens, other test currencies. And it takes about, oh, there it is, boom. That took about 15 seconds. We now have point zero point one fake ETH, a test ETH. Um, we rejected that uh, gas fee earlier before because we didn't have it, but now we do. And we'll click on deploy to test net. And that'll take a little bit of time. Let's see, it compiles the contract. Let's see how long it takes. Basically, Manifold Studio is compiling your information and building it into an actual smart contract, the code and everything, the hardcore code that's going to go right there onto the blockchain. And it's coming up. It's asking us to pay this minuscule amount of ETH for a gas fee here on the Rinkeby test network. We'll confirm that. It's confirming the transaction test network way faster than the main net, that's for sure. So let's see how this long takes, uh, see how long this takes to uh, go to the test net. Boom, that says it's confirmed, may take a few minutes. We can review it on Etherscan. There is, uh, even though it's a test uh, entry, you can still check it out on Etherscan right there. Nothing yet. It takes a little bit of time for it to get there. There are no matching en entries. Even for the test net, you'll still get an Etherscan entry. Um, that'll pro uh, propagate itself. And as you can see, it's subtracted uh, 0.0006 ETH for the gas on that. Uh, fake gas, fake ETH, but everything else is as if it were really on the test net. So we'll just wait a little bit more and we'll speed up the tutorial right now and uh, we'll get right back to you with how long that takes. Well, that took two minutes and 16 seconds just to deploy it to the test net. But, you know, what are you going to do? Go get a cup of coffee and relax. It, it, it's free. We're just messing around here. It's the test net. You can check out on Etherscan right here. You can go to the contract right there. It's got this nice little green check mark, which is cool. 
All right, the ASCII art doesn't look so hot right here. Uh, it just it doesn't even seem to be displaying the uh, that little border properly either. So I guess it's not us. So uh, what are you gonna do? It's not it's not the best thing in the world. But it says Nifty Film, and we're happy it says Nifty Film. And you can see the the source code at the top. You can copy it. You can go down and see. Uh, let's see everything else. We can even paste in, yeah, let me paste in the uh, the ASCII art right there in plain text. And let's see what it looks like. Yeah, see, it looks good when it's properly formatted. It's just how it looks in the browser. So you, you can uh, be confident and know that your ASCII art is at least being formatted properly, you know, in the source code, even if it doesn't display that great in the browser. To me, is a really small part of the whole thing, but you know, what are you gonna do? You want you want things to look nice. We're doing smart contracts because we want to brand our stuff with our own, you know, our, our own branding. This is we made this, so the ASCII art's important. We want it to look good. So here's the source code right there. Everything looks great. Now we're ready to just review and finalize. There's the ASCII art one more time. There's the title, the contract name, token type is ERC721, ticker symbol is NFilm. We are ready to go, but now we're ready to spend some real money. So you got to be really, really, really sure everything looks good. So double check, triple check everything on that ether scan in the Rinkby uh, test net ether scan. Want to make sure everything looks exactly right because once we deploy this to the main net, it's going to be there and it's going to be the one we use. So we want things to look really good. Take one more look at our uh, ASCII art right there. Everything's looking good, ready to go. Great. So now we're ready to deploy this thing on mainnet. So let's close out of that. Everything looks good. Double check it, triple check it, quadruple check it one more time. Contract name, token type, token symbol, ASCII mark. And we're ready to go. We got to switch over. That's our test ETH right there on the Rinkeby. Let's switch over to the Ethernet mainnet. And then we're, uh, we're ready to go. You can see it says mainnet at the top of the window there. We will deploy. Are we going to confirm it? Are we ready to go? I think we're ready to... Are we ready to go? Let's check it one more, one more time. This is locking it in. We're talking immutable here. This thing is not changeable ever after this. So double check it, triple check it. You're going to spend good money right now on the gas. Make sure everything looks good. Check your spellings. Check your token symbol. Make sure everything is... I'm, listen, I'm... Uh, super perfectionist about this stuff so I, I gotta gotta make sure you gotta make sure but we are just about ready to go everything's looking good everything's looking tight you know there we are we're on the main net we're all ready to go let's deploy this thing we've checked it enough times already we click on confirm we click on confirm one more time let's wait it out let's see how long this takes it's compiling the contract that should go quick this time because it already compiled it for the test network it's already asking us for the gas. All right, there you go. That's not that's a, it's a juicy gas fee. That's juicy, but that's what we were expecting. So we'll click on confirm. This is as good as it's going to get in terms of the gas fee on that right now, I suppose. So let's uh, confirm it up and we'll wait and we'll see how long it takes to uh, confirm this transaction. We were at two minutes and 16 seconds for the test net. Let's see how long it takes for this one. We'll be right back. And I never even went anywhere. We're still here because it's not going to take long. So we're going to let it go. That's already done. So that was like, what, 15 seconds tops? So it's deployed it. We're ready to go. It does say preparing contract for verification. It's got to run the contract through, make sure everything, make sure it compiled properly, make sure it looks good. So that part can take a few minutes, even though uh, it was able to uh, deploy to the main net successfully. And uh, that only took a few seconds. So let's see what else, uh, how long else we have to wait. Okay, it took 39 seconds just to get to this next step of verifying the contract. So we'll sit and we'll wait and we'll see how long it takes to uh, verify the contract. We'll be right back again. Okay, that's not too shabby. We waited only 17 seconds, but I couldn't shoot the shit with you guys for another 17 seconds. So we just cut to it. We can go to Etherscan right there. We can see the final official contract with the contract address, the creation of the ticker symbol right there is pretty cool. Transaction fee, you can see the contract has a little green check mark next to it because it was able to uh, pass verification. It was coded properly, thank you so much. It's got right there, it's got the name listed properly. Nifty Film presents the apps and is always present. No spelling errors because we triple checked it, quadruple checked it. This is all the same source code that we saw on the test net when we were looking at the test net Etherscan entry. You can go through and look at all of this stuff right here. 
and it's got yeah your token tracker, all your information right there. Now we got to set our royalties. This is a separate gas fee. This is a separate transaction. But we like to set. Our, I like to set our default royalties. Uh, I like to do it to ten percent, just as the default. You can change it when you list individual NFTs. Coming up in the next tutorial, you'll be able to uh, set uh, individual royalties per NFT. But I like to set my royalties for the entire contract moving forward. OpenSea doesn't uh, respect on-chain uh, royalties just yet, as you can see it says right there. But we like to do it anyway. So okay, it doesn't take my niftyfilm.eth. That's kind of odd. So let's go to MetaMask and we will grab the actual wallet address. We'll copy that. We'll paste that in right there. Maybe uh, maybe Manifold Studio will fix that up. So we set our 10%. We got our wallet address right there. We're going to click on, on, on save royalties right there. Well, let's get out of that for a second. Maybe the gas will even come down in a second. Let me show you right here. You can also add other wallet addresses to be an admin uh, of this smart contract. If you have a partner that you're working with, um, you can do it that way. Like I said, uh, uh, OpenSea does not uh, respect the on-chain royalties just yet, so you're going to have to set these again on OpenSea. But Rarible does. I'm sure Looks Rare does too. I can't guarantee that. Um, but let's anyway, we'll save our royalties. There's our gas fee. It is what it is. We'll confirm that. It's going to take a second to do its business. Write it out to the chain. Run through the transaction. Says it'll take a few minutes. Oh, the royalties are already saved. Boom, done. So there we go. Royalties have been saved. There's the approved admin. We can all add that. You can add that information later too. You don't have to add it all right now. You can always add it later and, and, and it's just a separate transaction. And there you can see the smart contract is live. There it is. And if you look on Etherscan, there's the second transaction with our royalties from 32 seconds ago. And boom, there you go. You just created your very first Ethereum smart contract. Stay tuned for our next tutorial where we're going to make an NFT with Manifold Studio. Thanks for joining us. Subscribe now.